Okay, hello everybody and welcome to the Black Box Podcast. Today is another personal vlog segment and just wanted to talk about some things that I had been experiencing this year. Like many people, uh, sometimes we read two books at the same time. And the ones that I were, had been looking at were In Search of Enemies by John Stockwell, the highest ranking CIA official to ever go public, and Against the Tide by Senator Lincoln Chafee. Um, if you look at any covers of the book, I think they will all say written by Senator Lincoln Chafee, but of course he was also a mayor and a governor, and the state he was from was Rhode Island, representing Rhode Island in the Senate. And I thought it was just so fascinating to see the contrasts in these two perspectives. It's like you have one person who had broken out of the Washington establishment and sort of just reveals all the secrets about what the CIA is doing and how they're just destroying the earth and ruining so many people's lives and, you know, of course, taking many human lives all for profit and the sort of relationship between the government and the military and the arms industries, the military-industrial complex. and Those are the writings of John Stockwell. And again, the book he wrote was In Search of Enemies. He has another book out called The Praetorian Guard, which is also very, very fascinating because that has a lot of the material from his lectures. And I think those are very, very, e very, very easy to follow, and they're presented in a very nice format. And then, on the other hand, you have someone who uh, is kind of working for the establishment. And the book by Lincoln Chafee is called Against the Tide because it's about how he's the person who always doesn't go with the flow. He kind of always tries to vote for what he believes in. But at the same time, he's still upholding all the sort of core values of the Washington establishment and the just perspectives on America by contrast are just you know very very interesting to look at it when especially when you're exploring them both at the same time one from a former CIA officer and director and one from a senator and establishment politician I first found out about Lincoln Chafee because I was, like many, I was watching the 2015 debate with Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, and there were two other guys in it as well, Jim Webb and Martin O'Malley, and he gave a very, very lackluster performance, and the newspapers destroyed him, the television stations destroyed him, he shortly ended his presidential campaign after that, and I just remember watching him during that time, and he just appeared so silly, like so goofy and just aloof and, you know, just completely out of touch and just no composure. But at the same time, he was talking about all of these things that he had done as a politician, being a mayor three times, being a senator, being a governor, and all of the uh, accomplishments that he did during those terms in office. And I was like, I have to know more about this guy. I have to know more about this character. So eventually that brought me to the book Against the Tide. And there's also actually a full-length biography out written by uh, somebody else. And um, I've not had a chance to read that one yet. But yeah, Lincoln Chafee's book, once again, is called Against the Tide by Senator Lincoln Chafee. And what is very interesting is... Both of these guys have a lot of strong feelings for George H.W. Bush. And before I was into the CIA, I was researching presidents for an upcoming project. And when I was looking at presidents of the 20th century, I was doing some work on George H.W. Bush. And then, you know, like that's how the first way that I found out about John Stockwell. And I've just been devouring his work ever since, you know, like on so many of the uh, CIA tell-all secret websites, you know, like even the countdown websites on YouTube or even just anything related to secrets of the CIA, you'll usually find John Stockwell's name somewhere. And 
it has just been eye-opening, and he has a lot of very strong feelings against George W. George H. W. Bush, Bush the Elder, just about how he's just this sort of evil, menacing, conniving individual who just destroyed other countries for political power and for profit. Then, on the other hand, you have a guy like the senator, like Lincoln Chafee, completely praising him and saying, you know, he was a good man. They were too hard on him. You know, they made fun of him at the supermarket. No, no, he was a good man. And, you know, it's just sort of like the um, comparison and the contrast are just, you know, monumental. They're just sort of meteoric. And uh, Lincoln Chafee actually voted for George H.W. Bush in 2004, and he said he didn't want to vote for George W., Bush 43, so he um, wrote in the father. He wrote in George Herbert Walker Bush on his ballot as a write-in because he said he, he always wanted to vote for a Republican. But then four years later, he ended up being the uh, chairman of Barack Obama's presidential campaign, and he had a major party change. And it's interesting all the same, you know. I mean, there's the saying that Washington is full of political theater, and Lincoln Jaffe really talks a lot about that, and the parts of his work that I really enjoy are when he is just sort of giving the stories of how the Republican Party evolved, and I think it's so fascinating to hear about him as a kid watching Nelson Rockefeller on the television and just being really inspired, and then once he became a politician himself – just talking about what's going on behind closed doors and just about how somebody says, yeah, I'd really like to do something about it, but I'm up for re-election right now. I just can't do that right now. And yeah, we know politicians lie. We know politicians don't say what they believe in case that's some eye-opening statement, but what we don't have all the time is how it works. What we don't have is just about how much that, you know, someone in the Senate is going to be working with their aides and their advisors and their staff, you know, like, and Chafee also talks about um, how, you know, his staff just, you know, one time forced him to vote one way that he did not believe in. And that was actually for military involvement in Afghanistan. And he voted against it. And then he says, you know, his, uh, Staff set the record for the 100-meter dash. They grabbed him by the lapels, and then they were just like, change your vote now. And he went along with it, and they did that to avoid um, negative press and to uh, try and preserve the um, image of the politician. And just like learning about how the Senate functions and how Congress functions and what is really going on in Washington... We know that there are so many people in Washington, in the House and the Senate, who are only trying to expand their own career, to expand their own political power, or even just the prestige of it all. But I found it really fascinating to learn about how it all worked. And, like, this is one thing that I think is very, very important for us to know is to not only learn about what's going on behind closed doors, but also to learn about the impacts that some of those decisions have throughout the rest of the world. So that's what that's where the uh, sort of CIA tell-all comes in, and you just have all these accounts of people, you know, just being eviscerated in Central America. You have the overthrow of the government in Chile. You have the Angola operation. And there's just so much chaos that has been perpetrated throughout the world. And it's all done for profit. And, and of course, power as well. You know, the politicians get the power and the arms companies get the profit. And the military-industrial complex is a reality that is uh, really wreaking havoc upon the American political system to this day. Coming off of um, exploring these subjects, I would really like to compose a sort of larger project on the CIA and the Senate. 
And I would want to uh, explore the relationship between the CIA and the Senate. And I think the biggest way to do this is to find where are the connections between both sides. For example, like someone like George H.W. Bush, who has an enormous connection to both the CIA, but also to the Washington establishment. And I would really like to just know more about this, and I'm hoping to compose a larger work on this subject, and, you know, maybe there will be... I can't really say what's going to be now, if it's going to be even, like, a YouTube video or maybe a larger documentary, but... I think there's a lot of material, and I've been finding out a lot about both things over the last 10 months, and I hope to keep on going, because there's no shortage of information out there. And if anyone's interested, I mean, we have all the speeches of uh, John Stockwell on YouTube, and he is a very, very articulate public speaker. As one commenter said, he talks for two hours, not a single stutter or misspeaking, or he doesn't ever lose his train of thought. He's a very articulate public speaker, and I just love the contrast between the two perspectives, between someone from the Senate and versus someone who left the CIA and decided to tell all. So, um... As I said, if I could, you know, compose something, I want to, I'm very hesitant to say I want to write a book because, you know, it's been a long time since I have written a book. I mean, I know you guys don't know me, but I've written four books. One of them was published. It was an absolute piece of dog shit. I won't even tell you the name of it. I'm too embarrassed. But um, I think this is definitely more of something that would be very suitable for the documentary audience exploring the uh, CIA and the Senate. And yeah, really focusing on the senators and their sort of Washington behavior and their Washington voting records. And I think that would be much more concentrated. And when we get into hard research, you know, focusing and concentrating on a very small area, a small group of people or a small set of years definitely um, gives you some more clarity and gives you some more room to explore. So hopefully I'll be able to compose something of that nature within the next year or definitely within the next two years. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. Like I said, this is mostly just a personal vlog segment, just talking about whatever. If you have any comments, uh, please leave them below, and I would love to hear more from you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Everybody have a good day.